Some tragic news in the NFL today as legendary Minnesota Vikings head coach Bud Grant has passed away. Bud Grant was more than an NFL head coach. He was actually a player, a basketball player in the NBA, which is unbelievable. He even played in the NFL and even coached in the CFL, which, of course, nationally, national pride. But as is, Bud Grant was a legend. Bud Grant was born in Superior, Wisconsin, May 20th, 1927. He actually was diagnosed with polio to strengthen his waking leg muscles, and it worked. He had baseball, basketball, and football to his things. He did his job playing organized sports. He was a high school star and then went to the U.S. Navy during World War II. He was assigned to the Great Lakes Naval Training Station in Illinois and played football under Paul Brown, the legendary Browns head coach. He actually attended the University of Minnesota instead of University of Wisconsin, becoming a three-sport man for football, basketball, and baseball for the Golden Gophers, making all Big Ten for football twice. He was selected in the NFL and NBA draft, which is unbelievable. He was picked 14th overall by the 19, in the 1950 draft by the Eagles and in the fourth round of the NBA draft, 47th overall by the Minneapolis Lakers, the legendary team. He actually did play for the Lakers in both the 1950 and 1951 NBA seasons. He, play, he continued his basketball career with the Lakers because they were local, and he was offered a raise to stay the course and all that. He was part of the 1950 NBA championship team. So he has an NBA ring. He was actually made the oldest living NBA champion at the time of his death, surpassing Ernie Farron. So after two years in the NBA, he decided to leave the NBA for the NFL and agreed to play with the Eagles during the 51 season. He would be a defensive end and actually led the team in sacks. But he turned to offense in his second season and became a wide receiver and actually was second in the NFL in receiving yards with 997. Unbelievable. Grant's contract expired in 52, and the Eagles said, no way. But Winnipeg said, why not try? So the CFL's Winnipeg Blue Bombers got Bud Grant and actually left for another team. So he would play for the Blue Bombers for four years as an offensive end, or a wide receiver, if you will. It led the conference, his conference in pass receptions three times. He actually made five interceptions in a playoff game in 1953. And played in the 1953 Great Cup, but lost to Hamilton. So Winnipeg decided to find a new head coach. And they found Bud Grant. So Bud Grant impressed people with his ability. So it was amazing. So he was 29 years old, becoming the youngest head coach in CFL history. Can you believe it? So anyway, Bud Grant would leave Winnipeg from 1957 to 1966, winning four Grey Cups or CFL or Canadian Championships in 58, 59, 61, and 62. So four out of five years. Amazing. He had 105 wins as a Blue Bombers head coach. I believe that's still the record, is it not? I think it is. But anyway, he was named CFL Coach of the Year in 1965. And Minnesota needed a new head coach for the NFL team. Bud Grant was contacted multiple times, but he refused. But thankfully, the Vikings did lure Bud Grant away from the CFL towards Minnesota. The original Minnesota head coach was Norm Van Brocklin, but now Minnesota had a good coach, Bud Grant. He was known for instilling discipline and having a lack of emotion during the games. He figured football was all about control of emotion and the teams would not follow the coach's lead if we're to panic or lose his place during the course of the game. He forced the Vikings to stand at attention in a straight line during the entire national anthem and had national anthem practice. Fantastic. He wanted everyone to practice outdoors to get used to the cold weathers of Minnesota and did not allow heaters on the sidelines. It was just amazing and all that. Actually, the weird thing was that Bud Grant actually engineered a, a trade between a CFL team and an NFL team. 
the CFL's BC Lions sent Joe Capps, their star quarterback, and yes, the guy who was involved in that fracas with Admiral Mosca back in 1963, and as old men, to the Vikings for Jim Young, so that Jim Young could play back in Canada. Yeah, they basically they were free agents. Bud Grant was Minnesota loyal, royalty. After all, he led the team to four Super Bowls in 1970, appearances, 1970, 19... 74, 1975, and 1977. Sadly, though, all four were losses. First to the Super Bowl four in the Kansas City Chiefs, and the last time the AFL sent a team to the NFL before the merger. 1974, the Dolphins, with their running attack, ruined them. 75, they just ran into the Steel Curtain of Pittsburgh. And 77 is when Old Man Willie, Willie Brown, and John Madden led the Raiders to the Super Bowl. So four different opponents in the Super Bowl. Not even Buffalo can claim that. It was just horrible and all that. Minnesota had used some good judgment. Grant would retire in 1983. And was uh, succeeded by Les Steckel. But because of a 3-13 and mark, the Vikings did not want Steckel and brought Grant back for a couple for one year. He was 7-9. He was, at the time, the eighth most successful coach in NFL history with 161 wins. He is still the most successful coach in Vikings history. Not just in wins, but in leading them far. Although the Vikings have been to a couple of NFC title games after Grant's tenure, he led them to four Super Bowl appearances, which is amazing. So Bud Grant was a legend. In the NBA, he played two seasons in the NBA, even winning a title in 1950. In the NFL, he played two seasons for the Eagles. Then he joined the CFL and helped Winnipeg out. 102 wins, 56 losses, two ties in the regular season. 13 and four in the postseason, including four Grey Cup titles. Can you imagine how many coaches have had four Grey Cups in Canadian history? Not too many. And with the Vikings from 1967 to 1983 and then 85, 158 wins, 96 losses, five ties. 10 and 12 in the playoffs, including those four deflating uh, Super Bowl losses, but you got to the Super Bowl, so that's amazing. Anyway, he was actually a hunting and fishing um, man, and would love hunting and fishing and all that. In 1994, he was inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and Bud Grant still was consultant of the Vikings and maintained an office at team's headquarters. Winnipeg actually unveiled a statue of Coach Grant outside their football field. Nowhere in Minnesota doing anything like that. Bud actually was married to Pat Grant in 1950, having six children. One of the Bruce passed away in 2018. So it was kind of weird and all that.